you guys. It's October. And for October, we're doing this thing called Upgrade October. And what that means is we're going to focus on all the animals I have now and focus on upgrading either tank size or just looks of the tank. Just make sure that each tank is as just like pretty and um, interactive for the animal and just nice looking as possible and focusing on just improving the quality of life for every animal here as, be as much as we can because that's what we believe in on this channel. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, so right now I have this bin. This is a 7 liter, no, 70 quarts. <laughs> this is 70 quarts, which roughly, which is um, roughly 20 gallons, a little under. So this is not big enough for an adult ball python. If you're on the side that 20 gallons is not is too little, which I am on that side. Um, but we have a juvenile ball python, so this is perfect for a juvenile. Um, when he gets bigger, well, she gets bigger, we'll get her a 40. We have a 40 already. Um, so right now, this video is going to be about a DIY ball python enclosure. I'm cleaning out this bin right now, and... We're gonna take you on this journey of DIYing it for a not expensive price. Because if you already bought like a thousand dollar snake, you probably don't want to spend a thousand dollars on an enclosure too. I feel that. So, first step on trying to save money if you get a new snake for a snake enclosure, don't get a glass tank. Get a bin. You can get bigger bins for cheaper prices than a glass tank, and you can keep humidity in more. If you have um, a snake that ne needs more humidity, like a ball python, you can just drill holes in it in the edge or the top of the tank. Because um, with glass tanks, you have screen lids. And you can get glass lids, but then there's no way to put ventilation in. So that like a glass drill, and that's kind of like not something you usually have. Get a bin, because there's big bins for cheap prices. And tip number two. Don't buy big bags of eco earth. If you're a snake, if you're gonna put your snake on eco earth, don't buy the big, already loose coconut fiber because you don't get a lot and it's expensive. This was five dollars, and I get three bricks worth of it, and one brick equals a bag. Usually, like the, like the big, the bags that are like this size, is about one of these. That's like three times this price. So this is like a really good deal. You're getting three times what you could if you bought just the already loose stuff. All you have to do is put it in water. If your animal likes humid, needs humidity, high humidity, then look at that, you already have water in it. So what we're gonna do is spread this about. All right, so step number three, saving money. Instead of buying like $15 snake hides, you can get a terracotta pot from like Michael's. We got this for a little under four dollars. It's great because what you can do is just bury it or keep it like this, but I'm gonna half bury it like this so that it's just like not as tall and he feels more secure in it. But if you bury it like that and it makes it like soft on the bottom too. Not that your snake is going to care, but maybe he will appreciate it a little bit. Um, it's a little dirty, but what you can do is also buy decorations from Michaels. And what I mean by that is they have a lot of good plants and stuff. If you buy a big thing of it, can you hear me that? <laughs> the red. If you buy a big thing plants you can like snip them off and voila you have it, it like doesn't look that bad so we'll get back to you after we decorate this with some plants and I'll show you what I mean tip, five. tip number five to save money is for water bowls don't go to the pet store and buy some fancy shallow rock dish you can all you have to do <laughs> okay, I feel called out okay <laughs> no all you have to do is go down to your kitchen and get a 
container for lunch, you know, like just a plastic lunch container. Um, there's, there's a lot of big ones that are for sandwiches that fit ball pythons. Uh, yeah, they work great. They're plastic, easy to clean. Some of the rock ones can, like, they're porous uh, from Petco, and you have to clean them out. It's really hard, and they retain smells and stuff, gunk in them. So just use a plastic one, and it looks okay. It's, like, clear. It's a crazy color might look different, but I like how the clear one looks. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you go to Michael's, and you just buy a bunch of, like, their realistic plants, it's got, like, a few bunches for, like, $30. A little, actually, $20, you can get just a few bunches from Look at this. Doesn't this look really cool and natural? Potted plant. Love that. <laughs> Just cut up some of the plants and scatter them around. Our orange dream female juvenile. Pinstripe, right. Orange dream pinstripe female. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Wait, get her head and her side. <laughs> She's so pretty. I'm in love with her. She doesn't have a name yet. She's gorgeous. And this is her home. <laughs> hey, baby. Fast, she's, she's really fast and she's really thick. Look at her stomach. It's really, I just, I love the stripes. Oh. My nails are gross because they have dirt under them from handling the ecoers. Hell Don't yeah. mind that. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes when you're a reptile keeper. So she's gorgeous.